Hi guys, what is up? It is me, Marianne Lee, with Fit Food and Art. I've been wanting to share this video for several months, but I decided to start it when the season most resonates with me, and that is gonna be Zodiac Signs. Today is Monday, October 23rd, 2017, and it technically starts Scorpio season. For those that you don't know me, I am a Scorpio, so this resonates with me truly, and it's more intimate to me because this is the sign that I am. That is the birth sign that you're given according to where born on the birth month and date. So look those up. I will share a few links that I got my information from today down below. Go to them, they're very fun. They have even quizzes and things like that too to get to know yourself more and see how your birth chart lines up according to your zodiac sign. Find out your elements, your stones, your colors, your personality traits, things like that. This is just general too, especially for Scorpio, which I came along this information. I've always been into astrology. The last two years have been embracing it again. And hence why I will put my picture up. I got the phoenix on my back. My planet is Mars. And Pluto is a, another planet, but now they say that's not really deemed as a planet now, but that's why I got my Scorpio tattoo on the top of my back several years ago, what, what, 12 years ago? So that's when I was really into it, and then I kind of fell off with like keeping up with mundane life, but I'm getting now back into it and have been now being more knowledgeable two years into it. So without further ado, I'm going to share some of the characteristics with you about Scorpios and what makes them so special. So I was not aware of this, but Scorpios actually go through seven signs of evolution here. We can get stuck in one too, but if you're an evolving Scorpio and you're open-minded and you're here to learn and to be consistent and be determined, then you will go through these evolution stages. So there's actually seven stages that we go through. The first one is a spider. And the spider is the symbol of spider through the phoenix. It's a fixed sign. The element is water. That is why I got my triangle as well for my water sign. The colors are black and burgundy, which no surprise, those are really deep colors. Scorpions are really in-depth people. And the gemstone is topaz, the flower is chrysanthemum, and Mars is the Scorpio's ancient planetary ruling. Mars is a planet known for and represents war, anger, passion, action, activity, and masculinity. If you think of the Scorpio that you know, that you know that is a Scorpio that you had to share certain situations in life, maybe you've had them at a friend, as a friend, coworker, a loved one, but just think about that Scorpio and think about how passionate they truly were. We tend to be very blunt and honest as well. We're very emotional and magnetic. We're very intuitive, and when we know how to use this intuition, it even gets heightened even like tenfold. Uh, loyal, truthful, persistent, determined, and powerful. Because we are kind of a masculine, we, not kind of, we are a masculine sign. So there's very famous, powerful Scorpio women. Here's Hillary Clinton. She's a Scorpio woman. Sierra. Katy Perry. Debbie Moore, Brittany Murphy, and some of the Scorpio men are Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, the, my favorite one, Bruce Lee. So when we find passion as Scorpios, we can really stick to something and we find we when we could focus to a passion, because when we could focus, that allows us to have passion. We could really, really embrace something and just take it and run with it and almost become like or a, a pioneer. That's what I want to say, a pioneer of that certain thing. We could almost like reprogram it, make it better, upgrade it, and make it more relevant with current times, such as like how powerful Bruce Lee and then Hillary Clinton trying to be the first woman to run for president. That was very powerful. We take powerful stances, we're confident, and we're not afraid and very determined. So with that said, the, um, the seven signs, I'll put that link below. It'll go through the seven size, signs of evolution that Scorpios go through. The mo most powerful one, though, to me was the last two because I could radiate with them because the first like four are through like adolescence and teenager. So I've passed that long time in my life, 
So I wanted to refer to, to something that was more um, adequate with up to date today. But you could refer to that if you'd like. So if you have a Scorpio child, I would definitely recommend it. Or if you are close to someone that is younger and they are Scorpio, that will show their personality kind of and their traits and you know their strengths and their weaknesses that they need to overcome. But the sixth sign that the Scorpio goes through is the Eagle. And the eagle, which really, really resonates with me because when I started meditating and doing a lot of hot yoga last summer, I actually shape-shifted into an eagle. That was my first shape-shift ever experience, and I had no intentions. Keep in mind, I set no intentions for this to even happen. It just happened unconsciously. I most likely lost consciousness and I shape-shifted into an eagle. So I really feel truly connected to eagles. Eagles and birds, including the phoenix and ravens, birds in general, are my spirit animal. And this was just happened to me as, a, as on my path and my journey to getting to know myself and my spirituality. So that really resonated with me because what's the odds that like that was just a confirmation that I was going through that evolution of a Scorpio at that time, which was last summer. Now, um, it, so a, a, an eagle is observing, they fly, they watch people, they're very, they're very patient and they know when to strike when the component is most vulnerable too. That's when they strike. So. Being a friend with the Scorpio is a great thing because they're loyal, passionate, can keep secrets, and blunt and fun. And you guys know the Scorpios that you could refer to in your life. They're so fun. They tend to like not need like much of anything <laughs> because they're like the life of the party. Now I can really say that I am more towards the Phoenix Rising now too. Because the Phoenix Rising, oh, and that's another characteristic of the Eagle too, is they no longer like seek revenge on people that have betrayed them or enemies. They know that it's God's will and God will take care of it and just to do live and live in and be lit alive. Like let it be. So that's a part that the Scorpio comes through with heightened maturity. And I could honestly connect with that because that's exactly where I'm at. In my adolescence Though, especially through my mid 20s, I uh, early 20s, you know, wanted to seek revenge myself and like try to control things, which was crazy that you honestly have no control over anyway, and you shouldn't seek ill or ill intent on anyone because they're just learning. They're on this learning journey of life, just like you. So you must forgive. So that's the evolution process of the last two signs is the eagle and the phoenix that they no longer seek the revenge, they just let it be with God. That's intelligence. So the true intelligence, the true maturity, passionate, loyal, will protect their family, um, very passionate and when upset we could go into almost a rage and be angry too. So. It, we're intense. We're intense people and that's why we are called the signs of the extreme too. So without further ado, let's see what else I have here. Pluto represents death and regeneration. So that's the regeneration. The uh, rises from the ashes and regenerates into a whole different essence of a being and I would say like belief system too and understanding of life in reality and constant evolving constantly learning very intuitive when they practice this gift of intuition like I said it could come forth tenfold it's very powerful we could feel energies in rooms buildings we could hear things and see the things that a person is hiding and that does not want to be shared even without words being shared so very like telepathic as well um, we could feel different emotions so we need to learn how to not let those negative emotions from other beings not to take them in as our own too because it's like a blessing and a curse so once you learn how to do that, then you will master that and know that that is not you. It's from the outer 
world that's getting stimulated but it's not your emotion so you could like deflect it and then you know genuinely you by being alone with yourself we do like alone time too because we get overstimulated in society because we are very intuitive so we like to be alone too so we could feel our own essence have our own thoughts and have our own emotions and honor our own feelings and honor our own emotions that we're feeling at the time and then we're able to relate what is ours and what is not so most compatibility we are most compatible with cancers capricorns and pisces and 50 50 with tauruses it says leos absolutely not and gemini's absolutely not which is crazy because i thought i'd throw that in there because my husband is a Leo and my daughter is a Gemini. So good thing we are determined and persistent because if it wasn't for that characteristic, I would not have the patience or the will to carry on with a constant relationship with my opposite signs on a daily basis. My daughter is Gemini, my husband is a Leo with great, great passion and love. And when that a Scorpio feels that great connection with a being, they could throw those things out and they can make it worth with another sign. So I don't want you guys to think just because your compatibility, this is like, it's kind of vague, but it's something to refer to. But when you feel a deep connection with someone, you know, you don't care about their sign. It's like you either clash or you mesh together. We are very magnetic as well, very passionate. And before we get too late, we will talk about what they're greatly, greatly known for is the great bedroom lover that we are. And that is because we are determined and we are very passionate in depth and we tend to let a lot of emotion go in our sexuality so things are very heightened at that certain point of activity when we are involved with that activity and because we are masculine we tend not just to lay there we are very active we're very competitive as well we want to win and we want to just we want to honestly leave someone with a good reminder of us either if we love them good but if they're our enemy then it's very bad because we're very powerful and we're very blunt and we are very extreme so we know right where to hurt someone like a juggler move like just ugh, ruthless but if we love that person and we enjoy that person and we want to embrace that person then we really know how to uplift them and make them feel like a god too so it's a, it's a powerful it's a yin and yang the dark and light and just know when to use it know a scorpio because she is going to be, or he is going to be like that as well, he or she, very passionate, loving, kind, loyal, deep. Uh, we want things that are authentic. We don't want superficial. We want you to be real with us. And uh, we are we are blunt. That's probably the most honest thing I could say right there. And we are the life of the party. We tend not to like need substances because we're already like high on life. And that is definitely resonates with me, I, me through and through. And I can say that I went through those seven phases. I will put the links below for you guys that are interested in them. And I can say I am now in the Phoenix Rising because I seek no revenge. I am not confrontational or unconfident anymore. And I am not no longer jealous. So yes, it's Scorpio season, guys. Enjoy it. Embrace it, my fellow Scorpios. I love you, namaste, and thank you so much for tuning into this video today and embrace it. And I love fall. This is a season that I always love too. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Refer to the links below to know more. See you guys later.